Uh, yeah, it was a it was it was a great bounce back game for us. Uh, we got our our uh, I guess we got back up on our feet after um, disappoint after a disappointing defeat in Xavier. But yeah, it was a, it was a good win. You had a career high uh, sixteen rebounds today, Doug. Uh, what uh, you know, what does that feel like? What what allowed you to get that many today? Uh, just a, a winning mindset. Uh, I had. I knew that they were they were a physical team coming in, and they had one of the best rebounders in the country coming in. So, I guess I felt that challenge and just stepped up to the to the challenge and came up big. Uh, Jason, uh, uh, Jason, what's it been like to be a you know first time starter, your first year at the Division One level, and how would you assess your comfort level right now? Uh, it's been great so far. Um, at the beginning, I was like, I was kind of tentative, not trying to force anything, but like the teammates have just been pushing me to be aggressive this whole time, and you know it's really been them telling me, and like now I feel really great after these past two games, just continue to be aggressive. I was going to say, is, is anyone in particular been getting in your ear about? <laughs> Yeah, everybody, <laughs> the whole team. Uh, what did you think of the, the game today, Jay? It seemed like a, a, a physical game. It seemed physical from the start, and there was no back down on the other side. Either. Yeah, yeah, the rest weren't calling many calls. Uh, and I, I, I kind of I like when that happens, you know. You get to play uh, quicker, quicker pace. And, you know, we came up big. We got rebounds when we need to. and. Got the win. How important was that initial punch that you guys threw? I think the Lakes won three to eight or something like that. Was it where they really got you got to go offensively? How important was that coming off that loss Wednesday to turn around to be able to, to, be able to come out and, and land that first punch? Uh, that was the emphasis coming in because we knew we knew how they play. They play hard and they play downhill all game. So we knew coming in we had to bring as much energy from the jump as possible. And um, uh, when we brought it, we just it just carried over for the whole game, and that's how that's how the that's how, I guess that's how the story of the game was told. Um, just them, us coming out hard, and them just trying to follow up and fight back, but not enough time. I love it. That's that's my life. <laughs> is the, uh, the cleanup guy, you know, is the as the the big guy, you know. Um, all my friends back at home always come to me when there's when there's any issues like with friends or anything. So I'm the um, I've always been the guy that cleans up the messes, and it's it's always great to me. I've never had any complaints about it. Doug, you had 16 rebounds a year ago. I, I I was not in a physical shape to get 16 rebounds. Um, last I. My progression over the past four years, weight-wise, has been has been great. So um, just to know that my max <laughs> rebounding game last year was about ten, and I was a hard fought ten, and this sixteen, and I, I feel I feel pretty good. I can play a whole another game right now. So is 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 a blessing just to have that in that flip in a year. Absolutely not. No issues at all. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> No, <laughs> it's all it's all it'll put me out about every thirty second stretch. Uh, my my freshman year, we played we played Radford in a in a scrimmage, and they had the exact same pace, and I was almost ready to throw up two minutes into my <laughs> my debut. So, um, like I said with him, it just it just feels great just getting into shape and just seeing the pro, seeing the progress and the um, the hard work actually display in front of uh, everybody on the floor. Yeah, they're active and they they they're great rating and help side. But when you got guys that set bigger screens like Doug and Jason, it makes it so much easier. Jason, how would you describe your offensive game, Jay? Like like you're seven games in, but we haven't seen you shoot the ball much at all. What what uh, you know? What is a, a typical Jason Preston game like uh, on the offensive end? I'm saying I'm more of a pass first player. Um, I can score the ball, but I'm I'm looking to pass first, make my teammates better. So you're, you're working your way through that adjustment. That's that's fine to be a pass first guy, but you want to make sure it's five on five, not four on five. 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, don't want to be like a weakness out there. Um, I was just looking to make a play. Like I, I didn't like say, oh, I'm going to go score. Like I, one of them, Jason sent me a screen. Uh, nobody picked me up, I, and I just shot a floater. And then the other one, the same thing. Like I, I just play how the defense gives me, not really looking to score one play or pass one play. Just give what the defense gives me. Knock on some wood for you, man. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, it, feel, it feels great because this, this is the first time in about two years that we've had everybody healthy going into winter break. So it's it's a, it's a great time for Ohio basketball right now. I was going to ask you, Doug, what you you played with with Jason for like six months now. What uh, what is it about his makeup that, that allows him to, to be an every game starter right now and playing the minutes he's playing? This this Jason, right? Yeah, that, that oh. Yeah. <laughs> I think we know what the other one is. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was about to say. <laughs> um, it, his, his, his basketball IQ is, is incredibly high. Uh, once, once he gets truly comfortable on the floor, he's, he's going to display a, a lot of skill. Um, we, we emphasize scoring with him, but in practice, it's, it's confusing because in practice, he, he destroys that. So, um, <laughs> um, so his, his ability to just play basketball and just know where to be and just and, um, his, his length and his his IQ is just is really helpful to us, and to start the game off is an is an advantage over any team. Oh, it was just the flow of the game. Um, we didn't we didn't really expect a, a lot out of the ball screens, but seeing the talent that we have at the guard position is really not a surprise to see. But um, yeah, we just we were just playing. This could be for either of you. Why do you think this team just sucks at home? <laughs> Energy. Energy is much different at home. And more pride, too. More pride. Yeah. Yeah, I, I emphasized um, every game, every home game, that we don't lose at home. You know, uh, nobody comes into the combo and just thinks that they're going to come come out with a win. You know, it's, it's just it's a tough battle. It's a tough fight against us every every time you walk in here. So uh, we just just play as hard as we possibly can. and. Live with the outcome, leave it on the floor.